Did you know that May is National Salad Month? Well, it actually is, and there's no better time than to rethink that boring bowl of greens. Now we're going to show you how to use fresh salad dressing to make an unbelievably delicious salad. Salad expert Charlotte Wines Marzetti's Vice President of Food Service Research and Development is going to show us how. Welcome, Charlotte. It's exciting being here. Good to have you here. Listen, um, how do you define the perfect salad? I think you have to start with the freshest ingredients that you can find. I think that uh, lettuce is important, as fresh as you can find it, ripe tomatoes. I think interesting, delicious stirrings like uh, things that add color and crunch and texture, like croutons and maybe fruits and um, Dry almonds. fruits or nuts. Yeah. Oh, I love walnuts with apples exactly. in a salad. Delicious. And what else? I think that the, probably the most important part is the dressing. Selecting a very flavorful dressing is very important. Now I notice that we're using refrigerated dressings today. How do they differ from the ones that we see on the condiment aisles of a grocery store? Well, on these refrigerated dressings, Marzetti has been working on reduce, re eliminating all of the preservatives and they're made all natural now and there's uh, we've even eliminated high fructose corn syrups which should make a lot of the moms very happy so no high fructose corn syrup no preservatives these are home homemade and i could pretend that i made them exactly <laughs> yes let's make a salad what do you suggest here what'd you bring today okay today what we're looking at is a simple salad that can be made at home that that um, i think we'll agree is kind of elegant we're starting out with some fresh bib lettuce slicing some uh, beef steak tomatoes and then uh, of course drowning it with your uh, blue cheese dressing and look at the chunks that's real blue cheese in there yes it is <laughs> <laughs> so a hearty salad like this can take a nice creamy blue cheese dressing but i noticed you made a different choice with this spinach and arugula salad because of the fresh berries Yes, we thought that the balsamic vinaigrette does lend itself to a lighter um, dressing and it, it dresses um, d lighter greens better than a heavier dressing. So we've got on this salad a blend of spinach and arugula and then a combination of strawberries and blueberries and, and the dressing just takes that tartness from the berries and, and complements with a little bit of sweetness that's in the balsamic. So that's a good rule of thumb for cooks at home to the sweeter the salad, the more acidic the dressing? Yes. It's pleasant great. to the palate. Right. Okay, and what have we got here? And two in this one, and the lighter the greens, the lighter the dressing that you ah. might want to use. On this one, this is a little bit heartier salad. This one's kind of fun to make because it's a combination of chopped romaine and um, uh, iceberg lettuce, which mm. holds up very nice, and, and you have the crunch. We've got some blanched green beans, mm -hmm. some julienne red onions, and uh, actually some pasta. So we we chose to use spaghetti in this one, but you could use a, a variety of different pastas in here and just make a nice. That's pasta an salad. interesting salad. Put pasta in your salads with your lettuce. Right. That'll make it fun. Now Marzetti. Their salad dressings can be used for more than just salads, right? Oh, absolutely. All kinds of marinades and dips and sauces. And actually, the, um, the blue cheese dressing that we um, used on this salad, if you're having a cookout, uh -huh. you could take a cup of the blue cheese dressing and add maybe a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more of your brandy, and um, take it up a couple of notches, and it'll make a beautiful dressing for a steak. Thank you so much for being with us today, Charlotte. And Marzetti? in the refrigerator in the produce section makes these extra fresh salads. Thank you. Sometimes you're identified by your favorite fragrance. And did you know that your sense of smell is the one most tied to memory? More on this up next on The Balancing Act.